Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Happy Metal Tales. I'm your host, Steve Kitts. Standing up to bullies. One hot summer afternoon in Happy Meadow, Robbie and Benny decided to cool off by swimming in Farmer Brown's pond, which lay between Happy Meadow and Sunny Meadow. The sun shone brightly and the water sparkled invitingly as they splashed and played, enjoying the refreshing escape from the heat. Robbie, watch this! Benny called out, performing a cannonball dive off the large rock at the pond's edge, sending water flying in every direction. Robbie laughed and clapped his paw with delight. That was a great jump, Benny, Robbie cheered. Now it's my turn. Robbie swam to the rock, preparing his own dive, when suddenly, dark clouds began to gather in the sky. A distant rumble of thunder echoed across the meadow. Looks like a storm's coming, Benny observed, glancing up at the sky in full concern. Maybe we should head back, Robbie suggested. But just as he spoke, a loud clack of thunder sounded. The rain began to pour down in sheets. It was on them like a lightning bug. The two friends looked at each other, momentarily stunned by the sudden downpour. But instead of running for cover, Benny grinned and said, Why not make the most of it? Let's swim in the rain. Robbie's eyes sparkled with excitement. Yeah, let's do it. As the rain fell harder, the pond's surface danced with raindrops, and the two friends swam and they splashed, reveling in the unexpected adventure. They laughed and they played. The cool rain was mixing with the warm pond water, creating a magical experience. But their fun was soon interrupted by a loud, mocking call. Robbie and Benny looked up to see Clyde, Clave, Craig, Clarence, and Clyde's little daughter, Carrie Ann perched on the nearby fence that separated Farmer Brown's farm from the meadow. Well, well, look who's decided to swim in the rain, Clyde said with a sneer. How pathetic, Craig said, his eyes glinting with malice. Clyde and Clarence cackled, enjoying the show, and Carrie Ann, the leader's daughter, ruffled her feathers and joined in. Yeah, don't you two know anything? Only fools swim in the storm. Robbie and Benny tried to ignore the mean crows, but their taunts were hard to ignore. The rain continued to pour, and the thunder rumbled louder. But the two friends held their ground, refusing to let the crows ruin their fun. Just then, a bright flash of lightning lit up the sky, followed by a deafening crack of thunder. The crows, startled by the sudden noise, flapped their wings and squawked in surprise. Ah! Clyde shouted as he led the crows away. Carrie Ann hesitated for a moment, watching Robbie and Benny with curious expressions before she started to follow the others. As the crows disappeared into the stormy night, Robbie and Benny couldn't help but laugh at their hasty retreat. Looks like the crows don't like thunder, Benny chuckled. Or rain, Robbie added, smiling real big. The storm soon passed and the rain lessened into a gentle drizzle. Robbie and Benny climbed out of the pond, shaking off the water and looking at each other with satisfying grins. Well, that was fun, Robbie said. Yeah, it was, Benny agreed, and we didn't let those crows ruin it either. As they walked back to Happy Meadow, the sun started to peek through the clouds, casting a warm golden light over the wet landscape. Robbie and Benny knew that their adventure wasn't about swimming in the rain. It turned out to be standing up against bullies and finding the joys in unexpected ways. And unbeknownst to them, Carrie Ann watched from a distance, a small seed of curiosity and doubt planted in her heart, wondering if maybe, just maybe, there was more to life than being mean. The End Ah! Let's get out of here, Clyde Shack. <laughs>